Paying off debts versus investing. Hey everyone, I'm James Gardino Sr. I live in Sarasota, Florida, where it's warm and sunny and beautiful all the time. Today we're going to talk about paying off debts before investing. Why are we doing this? Because I like to contribute my expertise and I like to answer questions over at Yahoo Questions. Tom just so happened to post his question. He inherited $50,000. He has a car loan of $15,000 and a student loan of $22,000. The payments on both loans come to right around $660 a month. Tom asked, what should I do? Well, most of the other people answered the questions this way. There was a bunch of answers, and these were basically the four answers that came up with. Pay off the loans first before you're doing anything. Stay away from the stock market. Buy gold and precious metals. Put the money in the bank. Well, I'm going to give you my little tidbit on all four of these questions. First, paying off the loan. For those of you who want to do this, you clearly don't understand how compound interest in investing works. Number two, stay away from the stock market. For those who are saying this, must have gotten burned in the stock market in the past. Because, number one, I tell people don't invest in the stock market. Invest in good, solid, quality companies. The stock market is on Wall Street. It has nothing to do with the companies in which you're investing your money into. It's been around for over 400 years, and many, many, many people make lots of money every day investing properly for them. Buying gold and precious metals, great idea. However, for those of you who remember the stock market rush in the 1980s, January specifically, it took those people 30 years to break even. Okay, That, in my opinion, is not an investment. Okay. Nobody knows where the top of the gold market is going to be again, and who knows how long you want to wait for it. Okay, put the money in the bank, great. If you can live off a 1.5% interest, more power to you. So really, people, you got to come up with better answers, do a little bit more research, and understand investing, and understand compound interest and how it works. The eighth wonder of the world, according to Albert Einstein, is compound interest, because you're making money on top of money, on top of money. It is an awesome thing. Okay, so five or ten years ago I created the interactive compound interest calculator. I got two of them. One compounds weekly and one compounds monthly. This one allows you to put initial deposit in, make periodic deposit deposits weekly, monthly, however you want to do that. You can adjust your interest rate, whatever you think you're gonna get, and the time frame you can compute that by monthly interest or yearly interest. Now let's get back to Tom's example. Tom inherited 50 grand in cash. He has $32,000 in debt, which is costing him $660 a month. Okay, so if he follows other people's advice, pay off the debt, 50,000 in cash, 32,000 in debt, he has 18,000 left for investing. Which is curious how long it's going to take to get that $32,000 back. $18,000 invested at 3% monthly. The $660 he now has free, it's going to take him 20 months just to get back to the $50,000. You all see that? We get $18,000 plus the stick. Okay, it's right there. But there's a minor flaw in the plan. With no more debt, is he really going to invest that $660 per month? He might. He might not. Human nature to spend money. So Tom just spent $32,000 on debt just to free up $660 a month. To me, that's not a wise investment. How long is it going to take that $660 a month just to get back that $30,000, $32,000 he just dished out? Okay? Okay, as you can see the calculator here, at $660 per month at 3%, for the 30 months, it's going to take him just to get back that $32,000. That's two and a half years just to get back to where he was. Okay, this was my advice. Invest the whole $50,000 at 3% monthly. Why? Because at 3%, that's $1,500 a month. That is more than twice what his monthly bill is. And the 660 is already in his budget, so he's already ahead of the game there. So let's take a quick look at this example. In the same time frame it would take him to earn back the $32,000 at $660 a month, it would take his $50,000 would grow to $121,000. Now, which would you choose? Pay up all your debts at $32,000, end up with $50,000 in 30 months, 
or keep paying the $660 debt because it's already in the budget anyway and end up with $121,000. Keep in mind, you're never going to get away from debt. As soon as the money is available, you're going to end up spending it and you're going to be stuck back where we were in the first place. But investing properly in the first place, the money you'll have more options and you'll be better off than where you started from. Anyway, this is James. Have a great day and enjoy your investing.